Hey guys, it's Jay here with SMB, and I just wanted to take some time to do a follow-up on the Joytech Cuboid. Let you know what my thoughts are a few weeks into vaping it, day-to-day. -day, it is my go-to mod of choice right now for day-to-day -day vaping, and uh, kind of let you know what reservations I have, if any, or let you know my impressions. Uh, we're also going to do a firmware update, and... Um, I've already done the firmware update, but I'm going to walk you guys through the process of how simple it is and how easy Joytech has made it for anyone with a PC to perform this update. Uh, so, moving on, this was reviewed a few weeks back. It's the Cuboid by Joytech, and I got the black version. It still works like it did from day one. I uh, love the device. It feels great still. Um, all my impressions are still the same. I, I'm very happy with this purchase and again the price point makes it a no-brainer dual 18650 in this form factor with a solid company like joytech backing it and um, obviously rolling out firmware updates even after the device is you know has been purchased by a number of people so that just goes to show you that the company does care and does take into consideration uh, people's feedback and they, they want support and, and they want to support their customers. So again, kudos to Joytech for, for making this uh, device as well as supporting it after launch. Now down to what my uh, thoughts are. Again, device works great. Love it. Still use it day to day. And uh, the only thing that's an issue, not really for me, but for some is the finish. So I got the black one. And as you can see, there's noticeable wear on all the pronounced uh, curves on the device and that's because this is essentially in and out of my pocket several times a day during the week while I'm at work um, I'm also you know I, I'm not rough on devices but then again I'm not actually careful so this is just using it without any thoughts as to pre you know prevention for any marring or, or scuffing of the finish but um, all the obvious spots that you would think could get worn did get worn but is it a deal breaker for me no do i have any reservations about this purchase no i uh, i'll continue using it continue rocking it with a tfe4 this is my go-to setup as i said before uh, just because i've got a ton of uh, married pairs of 18650s and uh, it just makes more sense so if you're on the fence or if you're considering it buy it. If you're somebody looking to get into dual 18650 mods, buy it. If you're a new vapor and you don't know what you really want and you don't know if you're going to do it for vape for a while or if it's just something short, buy it. I mean, there is really no reason at a sub $40 price point to not purchase this device. And, uh, you know, I, I've said, I, I've had high praise for devices I've ha owned or purchased in the past and reviewed, uh, but this one, you know, is up there. It is definitely... Uh, if I had to say right now my top mod choice of 2016, this would be it. So let's go ahead and dive down and see what it would take to actually update the firmware. So as you can see from the screen, we're looking at Joytech's website. And they really nice, simple layout. All we're going to do is we're going to go to the support page. And in here it pulls up a number of things. What we're interested in is software download. So... From here, you'll have an option. Uh, we have we're going to get the VT software to upgrade Cuboid, and um, I've already upload. I'm sorry, I've already downloaded it. So uh, I, and of course, I stated earlier I upgraded it. But all you need to do is select this. It downloads the file after you select which operating system. I did this on a Windows-based PC, so I select that. It queues it, saved it to a, a folder uh, on my desktop, and here is what's in the compressed file once you extract it. So making it very easy for everybody, I use uh, Chrome for my web browser. This is an IBM based PC, um, so it's not Mac. <clears throat> and all you need to really do is have a USB port to plug in the, the cable that comes with the device. And from there, uh, you just plug it in, get it ready. We're going to click on update firmware. And the moment you select that, this window pops up. So as you can see, the update uh, option is grayed out and that's because it's not plugged in and it's not detecting the device. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, and by the way, the USB port is right there, micro USB. 
plug it in and it detects it quickly. So right now, I, as you can see, I've updated it. It's on 3.11, it was originally on 3.0. Uh, 3.0 only allowed up to 150 watts of vaping. But, uh, and then of course 3.11 unlocks additional wattage uh, amongst that a few other features, which I'll briefly touch on. And there's maybe some things I'll miss, but only the key points that I feel are, uh, are a huge difference in, and that would impact me. So if you haven't done this and you're at 3.0 or something lower, we'll hit update. And then when you hit update, it brings you to the folder that has all of the uh, firmware files in it. So this is what the the first or the launch firmware was, and it allows you to roll back the firmware, which is cool. Some devices, once you're upgraded, you're done. But if you feel that you want to revert back to the original firmware, you can. But uh, I selected version 3.11, and although it's updated, it'll do it, and there you go. So we're done and we can exit out and if you just want to double check your firmware version you just close this application and bring it back up like I just did and it shows your firmware version at 3.11 so let's go get out of here and take a look at the device unplug it from the cable and so we're essentially looking at the same screen we were looking at before uh, it looks the same at 3.00 on the screen which is the standard power mode than it does on the 3.11. The difference is that once you start selecting temperature control, uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and show you guys. So I'm gonna change it to temperature control. Even though it's not a temperature, we're not really gonna fire it. So um, the problem was is that with the power on temperature control, it didn't really allow you to roll backwards. It only can progress or move forward. So I didn't like the fact that you couldn't go backwards. You had to kind of hit your spot, and if you didn't, you'd have to round robin and go all the way back. Now, the device will actually allow you to go up and down. All you have to do is once you select the power or the wattage on the temperature, it now allows you to go back, whereas before, if you hit back, it went to the next menu function, or it went to the next option to change. So all you do is, uh, you once you select it, and it's blinking, you just hit up, and once you're in up, you can go up and down, and it'll change just that field. And then to lock in, hit the fire button, it's locked in. So I'm gonna change it back, and we're gonna go to the smart setting. So this is the new setting here. Uh, really not much of a change for what I do, but for those of you that are interested, the smart setting allows multiple save functions and um, it just allows more um, a more user-friendly experience. So again, I'm not gonna use it. I normally have this build on here and I stick to the same type setup, but for those of you wanting some versatility, it gives you that. So I'm going to change it back to power fire it and I'm back here so does it vape the same yeah still solid vape very nice didn't really change anything for me other than it gives me that extra functionality which is nice again Joytech supports this device even after launch and I can't say that about a lot of other devices um, so again, guys, very easy to upgrade, very user-friendly software, nice device backed by Joytech. This is a no-brainer. Go out and buy it now. So on that note, guys, that's really all there is to this video. I wanted to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up. We also have Facebook and I believe Instagram now. Um, once we figure out how the hell to use it, we'll probably start doing more stuff there. But, um, yeah. So again, we appreciate y'all's views. Y'all have a great night.